What should you do when your life is falling apart? Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. I see who I am, God sees who I am becoming. I'm so happy for that because what I see is the broken, weathered <laughs> wing and he says, now I've given you new wings. I've given you something new and you don't have to be that person that you visualize any longer. That's cool, isn't it? Folks, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget that in that mug, I'm drinking some of our great coffee. Joe Mama is what I'm drinking today. You can get it in this size. You can get it in the K-Cups. You can get it in five-pound bags. It's my favorite, named after my mama. It's called Joe Mama. And uh, you can get that in our coffee mugs, our posters, our T-shirts. All of that right here, we are metal, we are family .com. Dear Pastor Bob, I know that when you're trying to follow Christ, the enemy comes at you even harder. I know that the Bible says trust in him and lean not on your own understanding. But I also read in Job how everything can fall apart. More than anything, you want to know why God is allowing it. I feel like my life is currently falling apart. I also read in Job how he has well-meaning friends that give him some really bad advice. How can one continue to trust in God and have faith that he still loves us and has not forgotten us or punishing us when life is falling apart? Great question. You know, there are times in our lives that suck. They just do. And sometimes it's a whole period of time. And you think that you've, that you've weathered it. You think that, okay, nothing bad can happen again or this couldn't get any worse. And then it does. You've all had those kinds of times. I have too. And you, you look up and you, as you're shrinking and you think, Lord, where are you? Lord, please answer me. And you know, always during those times, in our darkest moments, God is near, whether you feel like it or not. You know, we have associated a certain feeling with God's presence. We say, if God is right here, then I should feel him right here then I should feel good, then I should feel warm fuzzies, I should feel a God presence somehow. But what if the circumstances around you are so powerful that you can't feel anything else, including God? Does that mean he's not there because you can't feel it? Because you can't sense his presence? It's a good question. You know, in our darkest moments, God is right there. He didn't go anywhere. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I care about you. And he's always there. When we can clear our minds and focus again, he's always there to get us, give us comfort from the very beginning of whatever trial we're going through. He's always there to offer hope to us no matter where we're at in our despair. And he's always there to encourage us, always there. I want you to turn with me to Psalm chapter 34 and verse 18. And I'm reading from that Living Translation today, the New Living Translation, great translation. And it says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Now, this is a promise. And why is this verse in the Bible? Because all of us need this encouragement from time to time. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The brokenhearted. 
those people that were you know, living life and all of a sudden something happened and then something else happened and then something else happened, you know, and we call it the precipitating factor, that straw that breaks, breaks the camel's back, you know, that one thing that happens that just sets us off. Okay, now I've had it. This is one too many. Yeah. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Folks, do you have a crushed spirit? Maybe you know someone that does. It's a difficult thing to walk through. Nobody gets through it easily. Nobody starts to deal with it easily. You have to bring yourself to this place where you begin to get healing. And you realize that as you move to the spot, God has always been there. He's close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. He is right there. You just got to focus again, take all this stuff out of the equation and say, okay, Lord, I realize that you've been there the whole time. I love that. And when life seems to be falling apart for you, Remember that this happens to everyone. It'll happen in your life again in the future. It's just part of life. So you're not going to stop it from happening. There will be those times when you feel like everything is falling apart. But folks, the biggest challenge that you have is not putting all that back together because God can help you do that. The biggest challenge you have is beginning to take your focus back to God and begin to allow him to deal with those things inside of you. Not only the situation, but your reaction to the situation. That's what he's so good at. Folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing. Hello, Metal Family. So I'm excited for the next Immortal Fest. Such great bands, such great people. I hope you're going to be one of them. I'll be there hosting both events this summer. Really excited to spend time with the bands and to spend time with you. Sunday at the first event on the 28th of July will be the Sanctuary Day. We're going to have a service. We're going to have our worship team. We're going to have some special guests. We're going to have a good time. And I hope that you plan to come and some surprises still to come too. So both events, 1st of July, 26th to 28th, and the other the first week of September. Great bands, great time together, family time. We are metal, we are family. I hope to see you there. <laughs>